So what do you guys think about the new intro? Um, let me know if you guys are interested in having that be a staple in my videos. I'm going to try for today's videos, see if you guys like it. But in today's video, I want to talk about my future in competitive Smash Brothers. A lot of people have actually been wondering <laughs> what is going to change if I'm going to continue going to tournaments, if things are going to be any different for me, and I want to go on to that. So things have changed a bit since the streak was broke. The pressure to continue being perfect, quote unquote, is off my shoulders and I can relax now in a lot of ways. It's it's no longer for me a mission to play the game to be perfect. And let me tell you, when you're playing to a point where it's not just about winning but being absolutely perfect in everything you do, it can really eat at you and it can really get at you. And now that things are less about, it's not about me being perfect but about me being the best I can. Uh, because I can fail and people fail all the time, you know, humans fail all the time. And make mistakes now that i can you know do that and not have to worry about the stress of being perfect i can relax enjoy events much more and enjoy playing the game more and just overall be less stressed so that's that's really good for me in general it improves my life my quality of life <laughs> pretty much i will continue pushing myself as far as i can and still have a mentality to win every tournament i go to I'm just not going to be worried about a number or a streak or anything. I'm, I'm going to continue having the same competitive mindset that I had before. It's, it's going to be the same thing, really. I'm going to try to just be the very best I can. <laughs> Pokemon pun or something. <laughs> I'm also, another thing, I'm interested in developing my skills as a commentator in the scene. I've always liked and think I can provide interest in new and insightful and experienced commentary to the to the scene to the streams to the videos and i don't think that's too percent in the scene at the moment because um you know there's not like we don't have like a like a retired professional player in the scene making commentary yet and you know i was interested in providing not necessarily saying i'm going to retire i don't want to retire of course but i'm saying that i can i'm interested in providing commentary at certain events and I would love to provide insight to the stream viewers because I've been on stage, I've been in that position playing for, for the money, playing for the trophies, playing for the glory, and I know how it feels, and I know how it can change your playstyle and things, and I want to provide insight to that and to the viewers of how it is to be in that position, and that's what I want to provide. I'm also super motivated to push my YouTube channel as far as I can. Um, I'm still, I will, I'm looking to publish a lot more videos in general. Um, I'm looking into ways so I can provide to you guys two videos a day on my scheduled videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So essentially for you guys, it's not going to mean a decline on quality or anything. It just means that because I have more time now because there's a break. There's not that many tournaments from October to Genesis. There's like a little bit of a break going on right now, like an off season, you may say. So I'm going to work on providing more content. So you guys have simply more videos to watch and enjoy and learn from. So obviously for you guys, it's awesome. It's just more work, work, work for me. But that's fine because I don't have to focus too much on playing. So I have a little bit of free time in that. So that's going to be good for you guys. And I hope you guys look forward to the new videos that I'm going to be publishing. The second, ver the first video on the day is going to be scheduled for 9.30 a.m. PSD as always. And the second one is going to be sometime in the afternoon. As, you know, if I can finish it or as I schedule it or as I think. Because I'm still thinking of a good time. Probably between 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. or something like that. But most likely earlier. I'm also going to continue to attend events in the scene. Don't think I'm going to retire. Don't think I'm going to quit. Don't think I'm going to stop going to majors or anything. I'm going, obviously, I'm going to continue going to tournaments. Now, when I win a tournament, I'm beating Arrow. So I want to, you know, I want to do that. It's my mission now. <laughs> obviously, going to continue competing. That's what I love doing. And I will just continue doing what I already do. I mean, content, going to tournaments, uh, working with TSM as well and everything that's gonna be the same We're doing work behind the scenes to improve the game and the scene and players things are not changing in that way So don't don't think otherwise. Well, yeah, that's what I'm it's looking out right now I might play it on my life right now. I'm also thinking about coming back to streaming in general I think my stream has always been very successful and it's just been a matter of me not having enough time to do it not having the right mindset to do it and other things but i think my stream is awesome and i will love to bring it back to you guys and you guys have really enjoy it so please look forward to that sometime in the future i'm also looking to pick back up lessons um lessons are priced at 50 dollars an hour and i hope you guys look forward to that and i'll see you guys around 
uh, I'm, go I'm looking to like redesign the model so it can provide for better lessons and better scheduling and just be something I can do more consistently because I had to drop down on them a little bit because I was too busy with the tournament season but that's no more now so I'm looking to do that now but yeah as always guys thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys around in another video